Welcome back everybody to another episode of Madras Arsenal. Today we are going to talk about five items that every Catholic needs in order to survive their time in the army or the military in general. So the very first item that I want to talk about <coughs> is the rosary. Uh, this particular one came from Rugged Rosaries. Uh, I think they're based out of Texas and these are basically just chain link. Um, very similar to dog tags, ID tags that are issued in the military. But these are an exact copy of the uh, rosaries that the government would issue to soldiers in World War One and World War Two. So I decided it would be very fitting and um, it's held up very well. The only uh, issue is it was silver. Now the uh, silver patina is kind of worn off, but that's also because I uh, carry it with me every single day. So, you know, a little bit of patina coming off, that's not a problem to me. Um, they do come in this nice, uh, cardboard box uh, that you can carry it with, um, you know, if you want to carry it inside here and in your pocket or something. Um, or you can, you know, put it in here and keep it safe from, you know, if you have to put it in your bag or something. Uh, it's, it's nice. Um, so yeah, that came from uh, Rugged Rosaries and I think they are out of Texas. The second item that I would highly encourage people to uh, have is something to do with St. Benedict. So either the St. Benedict like medallion uh, that can go around your neck or St. Benedict cross it's got the medallion in it or here you can get the uh, St. Benedict statue um, something to kind of keep the uh, the bad stuff away from you as well as uh, kind of keep you keep you focused on um, you know resisting temptation and the devil and all that stuff a uh, third item that I would bring is Catholic Book of Prayers. Uh, I got this in Germany, and uh, it's been a huge help. Uh, you can go through the different prayers if you forget, you know, a certain one for the rosary. Uh, it's got daily prayers. It's also got nightly prayers. Um, you can go through the Stations of the Cross. Uh, you can go through the Liturgy of the Mass uh, with this, and it also has the Act of Contrition in it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very, very, uh, useful tool. The, uh, fourth item that I would, uh, encourage people to have is the catechism of the, uh, church. So you can pick a topic and you can do a deep dive on that topic and it'll lead you to, uh, you know, various other things that are related to it. Um, just pick something, um, say you know, something as generic as sin, and it leads you all through, you know, how to resist temptation, how to uh, manage sin, how to, you know, it, it's it's a really good source um, of information. And plus, it's also good to, to know what the church teaches. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good uh, faith, faith building book. Um, highly encourage you to read it, um, or at least have one so that you can reference uh, certain topics uh, that may come up, you know, because, I mean, even in, the, you know, in the, uh, in, in life, you, you come across certain situations and you, you need to figure out, uh, well, is this really what I believe or is this something I don't believe? So it's, it's a very good um, book. And it also explains why the church has a standpoint on a certain topic as well. So highly encourage you to uh, have either the full version or at least I don't know if they make a condensed version, but it's it's very good to have. And then last but not least, uh, which this should should be kind of obvious, is the uh, the Bible. So I've got two different versions. Well, not even versions, but this is the Gospels. Um, it is the Word on Fire Bible by um, Bishop Aaron. So it gives his commentary on uh, different aspects of the four, four Gospels. Um, usually it'll be... For instance, the uh, the miracle at Cana. Um, so he'll go through and he'll uh, do commentary on the uh, on the miracle itself. Um, there are nice um, paintings throughout the book as well. So they compare it to a uh, cathedral inside of a book. It is very nice, very very well put together. Highly encourage you to to try to get that. I think I picked this up off of Amazon for not much of any price at all, so 
definitely encourage you to get one of these. And then uh, this is the uh, the Protestant Bible. I haven't gotten the, uh, the full Catholic version yet, but uh, I think I had this since I was probably 17, maybe 18. Um, this, this definitely has some wear and tear, uh, as you can tell by the uh, duct tape that I've had to uh, tape up the cover with. But uh, yeah, I've got tons of notes in this, and every time I travel, I always take this one with me. Um, so yeah, really good to have. And then uh, as a little bonus tip, I would encourage you to have a very good moral compass, whether you're in the military or in uh, regular society, because uh, without that, you, you kind of lose your sense of direction, um, and or moral direction, I should say. So definitely make sure you have a good moral compass, and utilizing that in addition to these five items, I think you will be successful in navigating your way through uh, whatever career you choose, or, you know, even in, in regular everyday life. So that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the content that I've been putting out. Make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Check out the Patreon page to support the channel. Or if you want to become a member of our history community, join our YouTube channel, uh, which I think you can do at the end of the video. And uh, join that. I'm putting out uh, history videos uh, that are exclusive to the, the history community. So I think it's like 99 cents a, a month. It was like the cheapest option I could do. YouTube recommended me not do that, but I wanted to make it cheap, as cheap as possible. So thank you guys for watching. I can show, like and share the videos, and then I will see you guys later in another episode.